We're going to do several things in this video. Um, first thing we're going to do is take a look at this uh, run in an isometric view. If I hit Alt F1, zooms in 100% and Alt F2 backs it off. And let's just go ahead and verify and see what it looks like. Under my verification, I can speed up my quality here and I can slow or speed up my verification. I'll slow it down just a little bit and hit the play button. First thing it's doing is drilling the holes. My next operation is going to be the pocket. I'm going to speed that up some. And the last operation is going to be a contour. Okay, let's say that we decided that we wanted to change this around. I didn't want to drill these holes first. I want to drill them last. Well, Mastercam makes that very easy. All we would have to do is just grab this and pull it down here. And now here's my peck drill one more time. And grab this little red arrow and put it at the bottom. Now I'm going to contour first, pocket, and then drill. Okay, say so I want to do my pocket first. I'll just bring this down to here. Pocket, contour, and then peg drill. Notice one thing right here. We have a green check on the contour. So if I were to hit the play button right now, the only thing it's going to do is contour it. The other operations were not selected. In order to select it, I could click here. Now it's only going to do the pocket. But if I click this little green arrow right here, it says select all operations. It's going to start at the beginning and it's going to finish all the way through. There. So that's one of your modifications in the program. Another modification that you might would like to consider is, let's take a look at this. Under our back plot, remember on back plot we can analyze the amount of time it's going to take. Would you want to take an hour to machine this part? You couldn't make much money off of it like that. So we can uh, cut down on our cycle time by going back to parameters. Go to tool. Let's increase our feed rates. Let's do the same with our conjure. and also with our peg drill. Now, notice we have red X's here, so we can hit the back plot, check that, catch each one of them, And now, I'm going to do another verification. That was just that one. And let's do a back plot and see how long it takes us to do it. Oh, yeah. Now I'm down to 13 minutes. That's a lot, a lot better than the one hour and something, whatever that was. We could probably still change that up a little bit and get a little faster uh, time. If we were to take less cuts, for example, right here, depth of cuts, I'm only taking 50 thousandths, so I took 0 0.1, 100 thousandths. Then that's going to speed it up even more. Now we're down to four minutes. All right. Now, let's take a look at this. In order to change your post processor, if you go under machine type and mill, if you go down to manage list, these are all the post processors that I've loaded into the um, Mastercam. The ones I have loaded right now 
in um, that I'm currently using or in this area over here. So let's just say that I decided we just got us a new mill and it's a uh, uh, Fadal and I want and it happens to be this one right here. So if I click that and just hit add, it's as simple as that. And if I decided that I had too much stuff up here, I wanted to clean it up a little bit, just click it right here one time and hit remove and it just dumps it right back into this menu over here. So that was pretty simple. Um, it's a little more complicated whenever you're loading post processors over into the left column. That's something that um, would be shown in MTT 258 instead of 249. Okay, well I think that's pretty much it. We've Except for the last lane, generate code. Generate code is just a simple matter of hitting G1 and hitting your green check. Not all operations. Let's see. Let me reselect those. Select all operations. G1. And it's wanting to save it under an NC file. You can save it under your desktop or you can save it to your flash drive, USB disk, or whatever. I'm just going to save mine to the NC file, and we're going to name this one, um, let's see, topic. Click save, and here's our program. It's a pretty lengthy program. All right, that ought to do it. Thanks for watching.